Crash by Jerry Spinelli, chapters 11 and 12. Read for you by Mrs. Shoemaker. Chapter 11. The vice principal smiled. That was a good sign. Don't even bother to sit, gentlemen, he said. You're not going to be here that long. In fact, he leaned back in his swivel chair and clamped his hands behind his head, I don't even want to know why you're here. He looked at me. I'm not surprised you're the first one to show up here this year, Coogan. I hear you're a loose cannon. He leaned forward. His hand smacked the desk. We flinched. He smiled. But hey, first day, right? So I'm cutting you slack. I'm also reminding you, I'm a big football fan. You guys look like you can kick some tail. So what I'm saying is, save it for the football field. His eyes went from me to Mike and back again. Okay. We nodded. Okay. He nodded. Okay. Get out of here. On our way out, he called, Gentlemen, we turned. Cross me, and I'll have your butts for breakfast. In the hallway, I gave Mike a forearm. Hey, man, hear that? I'm a loose cannon. After school, we met at my locker and headed for the gym. We picked up other football kids along the way. We were all itchy for action. We started thumping each other, juking, throwing body blocks. And then the quarterback, Brill, showed up with a football. And you know we had to get a scrimmage going right there in the hallway. Down to the water fountain, cut to science lab, passes, tackles, pile-ups, even down the stairway. Others were headed for the gym, hockey players, cheerleaders, even Webb. I nudged Mike. You believe it? He played midge, midget football one year. He couldn't tell his chin strap from his jock strap. What's he think he's doing here? Mike grinned. Maybe he's going out for fullback. Football, field hockey, cheerleading, everybody was milling around the gym, high-fiving, kicking the football. Mr. Talibur, the athletic director, blew a whistle and yelled, All right, listen up. Football here, field hockey there, cheerleading there. Do it. Mike and I climbed into the bleachers with the rest of the footballers. The field hockey girls took the bleachers on the other side of the gym, and at the end under the scoreboard were the cheerleaders. Mr. Latner, the head football coach, came out. Us footballers all jumped up and pumped our fist and went, Hoo! Hoo! The coach grinned and pumped us one back, and we went wild. Then he started talking to us, the usual stuff about parent permission and physical exams and all. And all of a sudden, DeLuca jabs me hard with his elbow. Hey, I growled. I was ready to crack him. Look, he whispered. His voice was straining, squeaky. He was pointing to the end of the gym, under the scoreboard. I looked. I figured I knew what he was talking about. Jane Forbes. Sure enough, there she was. A beauty among beauties. And then I knew she wasn't the one he was pointing to, after all. It was somebody who wasn't even pretty, but who stood out ten times more than the new girl from Wilmington. Penn Webb was out for cheerleading. Chapter 12 Abby was in the backyard crawling, pushing a twelve-inch ruler, end over end, ahead of her. What's she doing? said Mike as we walked up the driveway. Whatever it is, I said, it's loony. I dropped my football laundry bag inside and headed straight for the phone. I dialed Pizza Mia. One pizza to go, large pepperoni, 438 Waverly Way. I hung up. 35 minutes. Mike groaned. We'll starve before it gets here. I opened the freezer. Think again, chief. I tossed him a half gallon of Seal Test Heavenly Hash. Then I got a jar of red cherries and some Cool Whip and chocolate syrup. We made sundaes in real Sunday dishes. Schultz says you stink, said Mike. Schultz ain't worth two snots, I said. Eric Schultz is a defensive back, eighth grader. Thinks he's tough. He thinks I'm supposed to be afraid of him just because I'm in seventh grade. Mike shoveled a glob of Cool Whip into his mouth. He says he can't wait for the first practice. He's going to send you home crying, he says. I smirked. 
Him and who else? When I get done with him, he'll be running over to join Webb and the cheerleaders. I stood up. I batted my eyelashes and twirled around and made fists with my thumbs out the way girls do. Ra, ra, sis, boom! And I jumped with both feet and threw back my arms. Bah! We laughed. Do you think he's serious? said Mike. Is he really going out? I shrugged. I don't know. I've seen that kid do some weird stuff. But is he allowed? I guess. There's boy cheerleaders in college. Yeah, he said. That's right. They're always picking up girls and holding them up with one arm. We both pictured the webbed one trying that. We cracked up again. The pizza came. It was gone in five minutes. As usual, we talked and talked, about football mostly, and about the new shopping mall that was coming.